This week, I want to show you how to saute mushroom in a pan. This might look obvious, but you can mess it up real bad. Why? Because mushrooms are 85% water, and instead of saute them, you could end up boiling them in their own juice. Nobody wants that. So enough talking and let's do this! When I do saute mushroom, I like to put two or three different kinds of mushroom. Make more than you think is good because after it cook and the water evaporate, those will shrink a lot. If you want your saute mushroom to stand out, you need to add aromatic. You can use thyme or in that case rosemary, French shallots and garlic. We will save that for later after the mushroom have cooked. Good job. Thanks for the cleaning, Sissy. Now it's time to cook those nice mushrooms. On medium-high heat, put some olive oil in a flat pan and make sure your mushroom doesn't pile up. That way you won't have a pool of water forming and the water will evaporate well. We cut a lot of mushroom, so we will have to cook them in batches. Now it's time to put the aromatic in the pan, cook them in the butter or oil if you're lactose intolerant for 2 minutes, then put all the cooked mushroom back in the pan, mix well, add salt and pepper to your taste. Alright, it was uh, not more complicated than this, so uh, let's give it a try. You want to taste it? No, I'm not. Okay. Mm. It's very good. You sure? Yeah. Okay. I will not do a wine pairing with this uh, because usually this is served with a main dish. Uh, but let's say you want to eat this alone and you want to pair it. You could use uh, medium red, like uh, Cabernet Franc or Merlot. You can even use uh, a light red, like a Pinot Noir, or even a nice Chardonnay. A white rich wine will do the, the job with this. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, let me know in the comment. Hit the like button, subscribe is free, and... See you soon!